Okay, so XS is 1.6. Okay. XS is 1.6. So first question is find number one is 64 to the power 1 by 2. Okay. So in this case, look at the base. Base one is 64. And the power is 1 by 2. So it's just uh, convert 60 word, 60, so, 64 is a number where the power is 2. So all of you know that h square is equal to what? 64. So instead of 64, you just write h square and leave a whole bracket and remaining power same 1 by 2. Okay, so now you apply that loss a to the power m whole to the power n, which is a to the power m into n. Then these two powers becomes multiplication. So in this case also a, this one is suppose a is suppose a, this two is suppose m, and one by two is suppose n. Then a, this one becomes like this. Okay. So within bracket you just write using, but not, not using, since a to the power m whole to the power n is equal a to the power m n. Okay. So. So that is a to the power 1 h. Okay. Clear? So now come to the question number 2. So question number 2 is what? 32 whole to the power 1 by 5. 32 whole to the power 1 by 5. Okay, so 32. You can write 2 to the power 5, 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16, 16 into 2, 32. Okay, so the definition is 2 to the power 5, 2 to the power 5, whole to the power 1 by 5. So next one is 2 to the power 5 into 1 by 5, since 8 to the power m, whole to the power m is equal to 1, 8 to the power mn. So this 5 is 5 cancel, that is 2 to the power 1. Which is 2. Okay. So next one comes to 125 whole to the power 1 by 5. So number 3. 125 whole to the power 1 by 5. That means 5 key. All of you know 5 into 25, 25 into 5, 125. One by three, yes. <laughs> that is why I'm thinking that of how why it is five and this one is three. Okay, so one twenty five. This one is actually one twenty five whole to the power one by three. So five cube is a three. That means next one is easy. So since uh, it's m formula in this case, it's m whole to the power m. That means m to the power m. So if you can see one so. 5 to the power 1, that means 5. Okay?